And new at six, neighbor against neighbor. Home video shows a heated confrontation over a fence in Adams County, and it got ugly. Seven News reporter Lance Hernandez looking into this, and Lance, one homeowner was tearing out fence posts just as quickly as the other one was putting them in. And it was a hectic weekend on West 65th place here in Adams County. Some tense moments here. Deputies were called out here twice for what amounts to be a property line dispute involving these fence posts. That dispute led to some tense moments Saturday and Sunday. Okay, you realize you're trespassing right now, right? You're trespassing on my land and destruction of property. A confrontation okay. between neighbors captured on camera. One neighbor pulling out fence posts installed by another. Okay. I got a full survey done, okay? I your talked to my lawyer. It doesn't match my survey. It doesn't matter. It, okay. it doesn't matter. Your survey don't match mine. Go ahead, keep pulling them out. Luke Rivera says he wants to install a fence to protect his children from the new RTD commuter rail line slated to open next year. He says he got a permit, hired a survey crew, had aerial photos taken, and filed the report with the county. Neighbor Dave Fox believes the posts were put on his property. On Saturday, he pulled them out. Land. We tried to talk to Fox today. There was no answer at his door. He hasn't returned our phone calls. And Mr. Fox over here is extremely um, aggressive. He yells at the construction workers. He's had problems with the superintendent of this area. Rivera says reporter. that after talking oh, to deputies yeah. yesterday, also, he reinstalled the fence posts. Independent real estate attorney Chris Rose says as the economy improves, disputes like this are becoming a little more common. People who have been neighbors for years will all of a sudden want to become the Hatfields and, and McCoys over a, a foot of weeds that nobody's taken care of for over 20 years. Now, the other property owner returned a phone call just a few minutes ago. He told me that before all this happened, there was an old barbed wire fence in this location that had been installed back in 1972. These are some of the fence posts from that uh, barbed wire fence. And under the laws of adverse possession, he says that was the de facto property line. Now, it may be up to a district court to decide. In Adams County, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.